Okay, welcome back everybody to Where's My Coffee? Coffee and Art in the Morning, and I'm. this is part two. I'm going to do a little bit more work on the art scroll. And uh, if you weren't here for part one, which is called, uh, I think I named it Sketching Sea Creatures or something like that, Undersea Creatures. So that's what I drew out today. I'll show you everything I've drawn. We did finish one clownfish. And uh, so I think I'm going to draw a uh, color in the sea uh, sea turtle's face. And that's probably about all I'll have time for today. So this show will probably be about an hour. And uh, let me go ahead and scroll all the way back to where we started today. So we started with a couple of shells. This is a uh, nautilus uh, shell and then just a little shell of a, uh, just a, some little muscle, sh you know, just a little snail type creature and then here's three clownfish we did finish this one on part one these two are not finished I'll, we be, just base coated in, them in with some paint then what I did is went over this with color pencil to do the details which I will finish that as well okay now again I'm only going to be able to do so much here on the show but I will post any pictures all the pictures I finish I'm Inky Well, I-N-K-I-W-E-L-L -L, on Instagram and Twitter, and just Dee Dee Willingham on Facebook. So you can find me at any of those places. All right, so then we drew a little starfish, and this starfish, uh, I'm really excited to finish him. Let me, uh, he's got, let me go over to him. I like him, he's, he's got, he's green with orange. Uh, well, let me put him in white because you won't be able to see. Let me sharpen this pencil. He's got bumps on him. So he's real bumpy. He's got all kinds of bumps along his uh, spine there. So I'm going to, I'm really anxious to draw him in, color him in. And um, yeah, there's that. So then we do a bunch of sea tortoises in different. Uh, poses. This is the one I think I'm going to work on right now for the next hour or so. This one's kind of swimming at you with looking off. This one's kind of just swimming off, but I really love this fin right here. This has got a lot of cool detail. And then this one's swimming straight at you. And a few people said this looked like the Grinch. That would be cool to put on. See, I always write names on here. Someone said that this looked like Grinch. Sea turtle face Grinch question mark <laughs> but it would be cool to put a Santa hat on him put a Santa hat <laughs> so uh, yeah you know like like fur right there and then a Santa hat wouldn't that be cool <laughs> okay then here's one that you're just looking straight down at, but I really like the pattern in here. And then over here, we just drew a quick little seahorse sketch out to uh, fill up that space. So that's everything that we drew today. And uh, the only thing that we really colored in, though, is these clownfish, which these two are not detailed in yet. That's just some base coat of uh, acrylic paint. And uh, this one is finished. Oh, somebody asked me to, to draw a bubble. Let's see if we have time for real quick. Let me find a bubble. How many bubbles? <laughs> Don't make me think. Okay. Let me find bubbles. Let me just find a bubble. We'll draw a couple bubbles. How about that? Real quick. All right, now a lot of these have reflections in them of scenes and stuff like that. I just want to do just a nice little reflective bubble with some highlights in it. Let's see if I can find a nice... I don't really want a blue bubble. Let's see. That one's kind of cool. All right, so let's just draw a couple bubbles here and real quick. I say real quick. Nothing's ever real quick, is it? Let's do three. And I'm going to probably make them all look pretty much the same. All right, so. Let's 
see if we can do a little selective light in there. I got that one a little wonky. Let me get a eraser. Uh, make sure it's round. We do want round bubbles. All right, let's see here. I'll do a little reflection. And like I said, I'm probably going to do all of them about the same. Cause I, just because I kind of wanted to get to the turtle. And, uh, I kind of need a dark blue, but that's okay. a couple of little, I don't want them to look like marbles. They're going to start looking like marbles if I'm not careful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what I mean, Vern? You know, start looking like marbles. All right, that's good. I say that, see, I can't stop. Now they're going to start looking like planets. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop on the bubbles, guys. Seriously. All right, well, let's move on to the turtle. I'm still trying to figure out Twitter. Yeah, it's it's really Twitter's. I mean, most of us here, we're all on Twitter. It's quick. We all can notify each other of things really fast. And that's why we like it. Because it's like instant. And everybody, you know, you can get a hold of somebody really quick. Facebook, you can kind of get lost in. Uh, the feed kind of goes away, and it's, you know, let me kind of swirl that a little. Um, it get the feed gets lost. Oops, wrong one. But Twitter is, it's. It's really, to me, it's easier. Okay, I'm going to stop on the bubbles, okay, because I'm going to be here. I keep saying that, and I keep wanting to. <laughs> okay. All right, let's let's um, let's go ahead and go to the turtle here. This one right here. All right, let me put my, here's my focus card here. Let's put this back up here to kind of hold it. All right, let's, uh. Let me go back to my turtle face, take a sip of coffee. All right, so I've got about 45 minutes, guys, to work on this guy. And um, let me sharpen up a couple more pencils again. They go fast. I mean, the pencils go, they go quick, especially on this paper here that's kind of rough. All right, so I'm going to pick out some turquoise colors for some of these. Some, uh, try to keep it not too complicated color-wise. All right, I'm going to need black, white, and this kind of a gray. I'm going to need another gray or two. Let's see. I'm going to go with um, French gray, 70%, and this kind of a blue. No, that's too brown. I, th I think I need a gray or gray. Let's see. Let's go with... Uh, 
That's the same one. I need a, more of a blue gray. Here we go. Let's see what this one is. Let me sharpen it. I'm going to go with a cold gray 50%. It's more of a the cooler blue. I want to go more on the blue side than the brown side. The French grays are more brown and the cool grays just are more green blue. Okay, now I want, um, I'm going to need this cream color. I mean, I'm sharpening as I go. A cream color and some teal colors. Just a couple here. Um, I think I'll go with, uh, I'll just go with aquamarine. Maybe that's enough because I can darken up the aquamarine. All right, let's just go with these right now. All right. I'm just going to do his face right here. Okay, guys, I'm just going to work on his face. So let's see, do I want a base coat at cream? I might want to do a base coat. Let me go ahead and base coat the uh, some of it because it'll just be quicker. Uh, I think I'll go with a kind of a, let's go with spicy mustard and white. I'm going to, I'm going to, tone that uh, spicy mustard down. When I get in here with the pencils, I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit. I zoom in and zoom out. Okay, so I think what I'll start though is just go ahead and uh, let me just lighten up that spicy mustard to a kind of a, just a kind of a gold off white. And let's just go ahead and base coat in some here. I'm going to kind of blend in. I don't want a harsh line, but right along his lip. His lip is kind of this kind of a goldy color. Right along the edge, because it goes into his neck back here. It's going to get into white and lighter colors. I'll just kind of indicate back there where his neck is, because I really just want to concentrate on his face here. Okay. And it's got around his eyelid here. Just kind of base coat in. Just a little bit of color there. And all these lines, which I'll do that with color pencil, but they're kind of this yellow color too. There's his other eye on that side. Okay, and then I think what I'll do is just mix me up a little gray here. And go ahead and just kind of with a little bit of the yellow too because it's kind of yellow and the gray kind of mixed in there talking to myself and then we'll go in there with color pencil to do more detail okay Lock it in a little. That's good. All right, let me dry that. Uh, maybe should I, uh, maybe I'll go ahead and do the teal color too. Let me go ahead and put some paint on it. Just be quicker, I think. Okay, just gonna get a little bit of the uh, aqua teal and some white. Let's see how that mixes up. It's pretty good. Pretty good just to kind of base coat in. It's a little darker. We'll go in with color pencil to do the rest.
because again, you can go over paint, acrylic paint with color pencil and uh, get a lot of detail. And then a little bit back there on his neck. I'm really just trying to stay with just the head, not any other. Okay, there we go. Part of him on this one. All right, let's dry that. Oh. Kathy Cass, congratulations again. On the... Oops, sorry guys, I bumped the camera. All right, let's get these colors back. Start getting defining his eyeball. Oh, I was going to zoom in. Hang on. Focus. There we go. No, is that in focus, guys? Can y'all tell? So it's hard for the streamer sometimes to tell. We are crunching. It's this part of the scroll I'm leaning on. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to need a little sienna, too, to kind of distinguish between a couple areas here. This color comes around. I really need him over here so I can see him. Again, you can spend as much time or as little time on all these little tiny details as you want. I get engrossed in them, <laughs> but uh, especially on, you know, when I'm streaming, I try not to get too time consumed into it, but... nostrils. I'm 
Oops. this teal color. I don't know if y'all can see anything. I'm trying. Get the basic markings. I'm not necessarily going to try to copy it exactly because I just want the basic markings here. There's a little nostril there. Anybody else that's come and gone, thanks for being here. I showed your Happy Meal earlier on part one. This is part two, but everybody loved your Happy Meal. Oh my gosh, it's awesome. Thank you again so much. It was awesome. And Denise, now I haven't talked to the kids. I'm gonna take, it, take their uh, name uh, plates up to them this weekend. I'll let you know what they say, but you know they're going to love them. <laughs> So I'm just kind of working a quick sea turtle here from the uh, art scroll. We did a whole bunch of drawings today, but uh, so this is the last. I'm just going to work on this for about, a, you know, another 30 minutes or so, and then uh, I'm going to go. But uh, that was awesome, Happy Mail.
Okay, yeah, this is part, yeah, this is part two, Janet, and on part one, I showed your Happy Mail. It's awesome. Now, is Nat your friend? Who's, well, who's Nat, Janet? Because she has an accent, so I didn't think she was like your daughter or something, but I don't, I don't know who Nat is. Coming to life, AJ. Coming to life. Thanks, guys. It's coming to life. Natasha. Oh, oh, Natasha. Okay. I hope you record the starfish. Oh, Marilyn. I'll, I, I'll try. I'll see. I might have to do some recordings with nobody here because I'm not going to step on other youth streamers, uh, you know, time. We all try to respect each other's, you know, time. So we'll see. Okay. I can probably record some, but I'm not going to do them live because there's a lot of streamers on Wednesday. But thanks for being interested. I'm going to have to get in here with some paint, a little bit of paint on some of this to highlight some of these bright whites uh, around, you know, some of the like they're not veins exactly they're uh, markings you know the markings I'm gonna need to get in there with some white paint I think to get some of those markings to really stand out I'll do that with paint. Thanks everybody for being here. All right, let me go ahead and get a little bit of a, let me get a kind of a pointy brush here somewhere. That's too flat here. Um, 
might be too fluffy too. We'll see. All right, let me just go in here. Some fluffy little hairs on that one. It's gonna bother me. Let's, let's get a different uh, one over here. Let me duck under here to for another brush. Uh. I just want something pointy. Ah, uh, there we go. That one looks pretty good. Uh. Well, it was a little. The other one. Oh. So anyway, thanks guys for being here. If you have any questions, just put them in caps. It's getting a little dry. Got a skin over it already from when we've been here for a couple hours. Just getting the essence of those shapes in there. Like I said, this is these are supposed to be studies, even though I get crazy with detail, it's hard to stop, but Some of these brighter areas. You like them? Good. Thanks, guys. It's got a few little areas here. It's So make sure y'all get out a scroll and try some drawings on it. I'll show the whole thing here again shortly because we can't be here much longer.
<laughs> you got an ad, Janet, I know. You're kind of aggravating, but what are you going to do? Anyway, guys, I think that'll be enough for the white paint. Let me go in there with a little bit more pencil in. Welcome back, Janet. <laughs> So any questions or anything guys before we head out? Oh yeah, I do want to show you the whole scroll again one more time. So all right, give me another minute here. Don't forget to, like I said earlier, to make you a chart of ideas of different animals, different places, different textures, different, all that. Because then you can really, uh, you know, use your imagination to create new places and new whatever. Take a picture. Yeah, I will take pictures and post them on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. So yeah, and I'm and I'll show you the whole scroll here. One second, Janet, you weren't here to see the whole scroll. So um, let me show you that. Let me just kind of get a little something going on here. Here we go. And again, it's just his face. I didn't even really get into his neck or anything, but. You can kind of see.
need some more, a little bit more color here and there. Okay, I think I'm going to stop. I mean, I can keep going and going, and, you know, you can. Don't feel like, you know, you, you have to stop. I mean, I have to because I'm in a hurry, you know, and again, I don't want, I don't want a turtle to defeat me. <laughs> we can't have a turtle defeat us. Let me get his little nostril a little more pronounced there. Get the idea though, right? Yes, no defeating. <laughs> All right, guys, so let me go ahead and um, well, you can kind of see that. And I'll uh, let me move everything out of the way here. I'll show you the whole scroll, Janet. Is Janet still here? And again, thanks for the happy mail. All right, so here's what we got today. Let me let me uh, go scroll all the way back so you can see what we did. Oh, let me zoom back out. Hang on. And refocus. <laughs> I think we're kind of focusing on a focus. Oh God, I need some. Come on. I think it's good enough for seeing it. Okay. So this is what we did today. Did you see the peacock from the other day, uh, Janet? Here's the peacocks that we did. The peacock study, including a foot, <laughs> that we did the other day, okay? And then this is what we drew today. Now, I have not had time, of course, to, you know, color them all in. Did a nautilus shell and a uh, snail shell. We got three clownfish. This one's done. These two are just blocked in. Um, here's a cup. Here's a starfish and some kelp kind of growing around. We just did a couple bubbles there. Didn't really take enough time on the bubbles, but anyway. Um, then we did him, and we drew a bunch more that we haven't got to. There and a seahorse. So that's all the things we drew today, and. Um, you didn't see the you didn't see the defeat, <laughs> Carrie. Yeah. So that's what we did today. We drew all these in part one, and then um, here on part two, we finished up or just did this one head, a uh, tortoise shell, a tortoise shell, tortoise sea tortoise head, and the fish. And we'll, I want to finish the starfish. Well, I want to finish all of them. Let me move my paint out of the way. And I want to finish these shells, too. Yes, Carrie, you want to see the feet? Yes, we drew a quick... We drew a quick... Um, <laughs> there's a quick uh, peacock foot. And I'll just go ahead and roll out the rest of the scroll just so you can see what else we have on it real quick. Did a uh, frog, a little tree frog there. I'll kind of, I'll try to kind of hold them up a little, but just did a little tree frog. That was not done on stream. I just did that one weekend. Now, uh, here's some uh, velvet antlers, little raccoon, and a deer, and a little bit of waves there. And some just that was just a little demo on some layering of pencils and paint. Then down here we have the octopus. He's quite, he takes up the full 30 inches there. Aw, uh, thanks, Orla. And then down here we have a little baby uh, owl. And we have a panda. Again, these are all posted. 
And what else is in here? Oh, and then I have to turn it sideways because I started this scroll going this way with the slow lorries. Now, I did not finish those slow, slow lorry sketches, but I did finish him. So, so anyway, guys, that's what we did today, the undersea stuff. And uh, hopefully y'all got some inspiration to go and make you an art scroll. All this is a shipping paper, just wrapping paper. I think it's less than four dollars a roll. So yeah, so there's the fish from part one. And here is our little tortoise from part two. So anyway, thanks guys. Now, hey Jerry, they're just they're just here sketches for Ustream. I don't have any plans for them. I'll post them online so people can see them, get inspired. Um, but I just want to show how you can sketch and do studies of different animals, write notes, take notes. We did a little. Uh, where's that one here? Yeah, up here. Made a little chart earlier showing how you can just make a little chart of land, sea, and air. This is just one of the many mind mapping charts that you could do. And uh, put a whole bunch of things that are from land, like we wrote tree, zebra, peacock, and an ocelot, because just that just came to me because I had just drawn those here. C, a sea turtle, a starfish, a clownfish, some kelp, and a shell. Air, a pterodactyl, an eagle, um, cloud, a planet, and the sun. And then to spark your imagination, just pick one random one from each one. We picked a tree, a starfish, and the sun. So with the tree, we made a starfish tree using starfish as the branches of a tree. And then that's the sun around it. And you can just, you know, things like that will spark your imagination for paintings, cards, writing ideas this kind of stuff works you know just for writers as it does for visual artists maybe even more so but like i said earlier even if you're a writer and you don't think you can draw if you're just more of a uh you know your creativity runs more toward writing you know it does never hurts to sketch out your your um whatever you're writing about because you're going to observe much more closely when you draw than you will when you just look at something and write about it. So thanks guys. So I hope you all had fun. We'll see you uh, around on different streams. A lot of streamers today. If uh, anybody wants, thanks Paula. If you all want to put uh, Miko has a just, you know, it's not every streamer we know, but it's everyone that we all go to and, and our group knows. There's tons of other streamers too, but anyway, and thanks again, Nana J, Nana Janet, for my happy mail, and I showed that on part one. So, all right, guys, hope you all enjoyed it, and we will see you all later.